When he invented the telephone back in 1876, Alexander Graham Bell could hardly have foreseen how the producers of a brand new movie would use a modern day descendant of his creation. Here's Ben Tracy. More lifeline than phone line. Our tiny pocket computers seem to be able to do just about anything. It could even accomplish tasks for you. These days, they even talk to us. Here's the forecast for today. We had the ending on the gym arm, we had the ending on the slider dolly. Now for the first time, a smartphone was used to shoot an entire feature length film that will actually be released in a theater. You hear that? The movie is called Olive, about a girl who transforms people's lives without saying a word. Yeah, we're breaking all the rules, but somebody has to, right? Human Khalili is the director. We want people to ultimately go in and say, all right, we got to check out the cell phone movie. But as soon as the, the projector starts and you see how vibrant the colors are and you see how crisp everything looks and how perfect the resolution is, you're going to forget you're watching a cell phone film. Every frame of the film was shot on a Nokia N8 smartphone. The crew even managed this aerial shot by strapping the phone to a remote control helicopter and hoping for the best. It took 17 takes to get it right. It was difficult, but it ultimately it was so much cheaper than getting a crane because that helicopter pilot cost 600 bucks. One of the biggest challenges is that smartphones think they're smarter than we are. The crew had to hack into their phone and permanently disable the auto zoom and autofocus features to get the shots they wanted. They then attached a 35 millimeter lens to the front of the phone in very low tech and low budget fashion. They used double sided tape. Yet the film had all the Hollywood trappings, hair and makeup, location scouts, and even two time Academy Award nominated actress Jenna Rowland. It's just a game. It cost half a million dollars to make. Chris Kelly, a former Facebook executive, put up some of the money. If you can put the power in the palm of someone's hand to shoot a beautiful movie like this, there's a lot that you can do about storytelling in the world. So somebody's got to do it first, and that's what we wanted to do. Olive is now playing at this movie theater near Los Angeles. It will run for a week so it can be considered for an Academy Award in February. Thanks. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles.